The Battle of Nashod on 27 June 1866 was the first major action of the Austro-Prussian War. The advance guard of General Karl Friedrich von Steinmetz's V Corps occupied some high ground near Nashod as part of a Prussian advance into Bohemia from Silesia. Elements of the Austrian VI Corps under General von Ramming came on the scene and attacked the Prussians but were repulsed. As more Austrians arrived, they were ordered into attacks which proved both costly and unsuccessful. Finally, the badly mauled Austrians retreated from the field. The Prussian infantry enjoyed a technical advantage in having the needle gun, a breech-loading rifle that could be fired and loaded from a prone position. Consequently, the Austrian infantry, which were only equipped with muzzle-loading rifles, suffered a disproportionate number of casualties. Events The Prussian Second Army, invading Bohemia, had to split up in order to negotiate the passes of the Riesen Mountains. General Karl Friedrich von Steinmetz's V Corps was nearly caught as it emerged from a gully by the village of Nashot, Bohemia. The king's grenadiers were in the advance guard, and raced forward, first to occupy some woods outside the gully's opening, and then to take possession of the heights above Wenzelsburg. To counter the danger of the Prussians flanking his army, during the evening June 26, Benedek finally decided to send Ramming's VI Corps to Nashod to block the passes. Benedict's orders were only received by Ramming at 1.30 a.m. on June 27. The first Austrian troops started up at 3.30 a.m. The bulk of the corps started at 5 a.m. without having eaten. The Austrian colonel Hertwig was supposed to occupy the next village of Isakov so as to block the road, but instead, when at 9 a.m. he got to Wenzelsburg, he on his own initiative wheeled right to attack the Prussians on the ridge above, the king's grenadiers simply mowed his men down. It was now that the superiority of Prussian equipment made itself felt. Their new breech-loading needle guns enabled them to fire three shots to the Austrians' muzzle loaders one. The Prussian cavalry now rode forward along the road to stop the Austrians reaching Vysokov, and here a cavalry battle developed. The king's grenadiers now came down the slope over the bodies of Herwes men and occupied Wenzelsburg. At 10.45 a.m. a new Austrian brigade arrived and a fearful struggle ensued over the churchyard. The grenadiers were driven out of it but held on to most of the village for two hours while the rest of the 9th Division arrived. A third Austrian brigade appeared, and this time it had unmistakable orders to take Vysokov. As the famous Viennese Hock und Deutschmeister Regiment, the last fighting vestige of the old Teutonic Order, burst into the town. Colonel Louis von Blumenthal arrived at the head of the 52nd foot on their right flank. Though the fighting continued, the result was now not in doubt. At 1 p.m. Ramming decided to untangle by escaping forward and he committed his final brigade, Waldstatins, to clear the woods around Clenny. Pivot on Rosenzweig's left and take the town, and then turn Steinmetz's flank in order to push the Prussians back into the pass. Using their numerically superior 42-gun artillery strength, the bulk of the Austrian guns were still struck in traffic to pummel Waldstatin. A Prussian regiment attacked Rosenzweig in Vaclavis and a fresh regiment flanked Waldstatin's columns. At 2 p.m., having spent all his reserve, Ramming commanded a retreat to Scalis where he united with his artillery batteries to form an 80-gun grand battery and took up position behind a railway embankment. Steinmetz selected not to follow up the Austrians but decided to concentrate his scattered units at the heights. Results Having through muddled staff orders started too late to reach the commanding heights first, the Austrian 6th Corps Brigades Exhausted from a six-hour march were committed piecemeal against the Prussians commanding the heights. The Prussian firepower goaded the Austrians into courageous but costly bayonet charges. Their officers lost control, and five and a half thousand men fell to the Prussians' thousand. The news electrified Berlin. Von Steinmetz was hailed as the Lion of Nashot, and Bismarck found for the first time in his life that he was popular.
Strategically, Ramming's loss meant the Austrians lost control of one of the passes giving entry into Bohemia. It also meant that Glebens' corps was left in the air at Trautenau, and ultimately meant that the Prussian army could advance towards a union with the other Prussian armies. Map http colon slash slash usacac dot army dot mil slash cac two slash cgsc slash cull slash download slash kapubs slash cane slash maps underscore forty one underscore sixty dot pdf c map forty five courtesy of us combined arms center literature lydia bastecker ivana ebelova nashot nashot two thousand and four isbn eight zero seven one zero six 6745 Wilhelm Mader Chronic der Stadt Lewin Lewin 1868 Slavomir Ravik, Tam U. Krolovejo Radza, Praha 2001 ISBN 80 to 242.0584x Heinz Helmert, Hans Jurgen USC Zek Priusisch Deutsche Krieger von 1864 bis 1871 Militärische Verlauf Uberabati Toflage Militaire Verlag der Deutschen Demokratischen Republik Berlin 1988, ISBN 3-327-00222-3